I love those instruments. Whoa. Boba, Boba. Oh, that kick. And. Oh, okay. You're the man, bro. You're the man. These are so fun to listen. Hello, everyone. I'm Anish Shrestha, and this is Four Producers One Sample, an exciting concept that was initially conceived by the photographer Jessica Kobesi in 2017, and later transformed into a musical masterpiece by the creative genius Andrew Wang in 2018. So here's how it works: One sample is provided to four producers, including me. Each producer then creates their own original tracks using that sample. So for today's show, we are joined by an amazing music producers, Esther Reason, DJ True and Callium. And I also have a special guest today, the very talented singer-songwriter Srijet Hapalia. Hello, Sobjana. Who provided us the vocal sample. So let's hear what he gave us to work with. <laughs> No banana name. Pew to my son, G. Middle, so must sell a year. What call that Tom Molly? Call it Kahin. So that was the vocal sample Strizet provided us. So let's see what everyone did with it. Hello and Namaste everyone, this is me Esther Reason. I am a 20 years old music producer based in Kathmandu, Nepal. So I want to give a big shout out to my bro on his Dai for making me part of this. And I want to thank Shri Dai for your amazing sample. This is how I flip the sample. So hope you guys will enjoy it. So, my intro match is a live drum, so I will establish the main vocal line. I will say that 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 I will say I don't want to process uh, your vocal so so I don't to process your vocal so I don't want to build up I talking about drop uh, I want to keep a little complex kind of drums I want to drums I drop You are more busy kind of, or grand kind of, you know, or guardico drums one than you are the cotty So, pretty much, etineola, and yeah, hope you will enjoy this track either. So, thank you. Oh, I love grand list synthesis. You okay, you look pretty, you Nepali culture, so Nepali, right? Yeah. Oh, it's got like that future bass kind of. Oh, I like that. I love the guitar instrument playing on my left. Damn, bro, that snare. I love those instruments. Whoa. Oh, strings, yeah. Yeah, great sub. Boy, sounds great. I love how wide it is. Yeah. Love that pause, man. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that was unexpected. That glitchy. That was nice. Nice. Little stutter. Yes. That's wow. Something big is coming. Yes. 
Oh, that's a great vibe right there. Oh. Oh, pitch down. Ooh, that was that was nice. What? This fusion is so well done. God, all those instruments, man. That's that's beautiful. Like it's like flume and Bollywood combined. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's so cool. What a lovely sarangi. Yeah. This was so fun to listen. Woo! I can listen to that as a loop for a long time. Babbal yaar, babbal dam yaar. Otti, you have done it, bro. Nice, nice. Hey, what's up? My name is Jay, aka DJ True. Uh, I reside here in Denver, Colorado in the US, and I am thankful that uh, Anish uh, sent me this awesome sound sample. And, you know, I, I really had no idea what I was getting myself into. I just was you know, pretty excited to, uh, to participate in this. And he sent me a, a sample that was in something, you know, completely different language. I had no idea what it, what it's meant. Uh, but you know, I'm up for a challenge and the, his voice sounded really good. So yeah, uh, the interpretation, I really had no idea what that was going to be as well. And it ended up being, um, you know, kind of a, a, a direction that I wasn't planning on going, but I, I'm glad that I did and I'm glad that I received the sample because it was a lot of fun to do. And um, yeah, let's jump, jump straight into, you know, how I started just um, processing this, this sample. So yeah, here's uh, here's the vocal itself. Here's my here's my chain here. Um, one thing I, I really recommend is this this clear plugin. Uh, if you have any kind of background noise, you just throw this guy on there and it's you could take out the ambience. Uh, running down the line here, you know, I used a, just a little bit of auto tune um uh the air vocal uh eq from just ableton a lot of a lot of stock plugins and then just added some vocal synth for you know just a little bit of a uh just a gritty sound and then but it's only automated in certain areas and that sounds pretty you know a little, little cleaned up um uh, i just kind of threw this this vocal I, I put it in little sections here um I just kind of threw it into a sampler um, or simpler. I use both, but yeah, I just kind of put it into uh, my push here. Then from there, I was able to, you know, put some stuff into this push. And I also use this uh, little LPD-8 uh, for automating a lot of effects parameters. So I mainly use a lot of this stuff for, for the vocal chopping. For instance, just... I could have played those in, chopped in. So what I did there is played that as a MIDI, just recorded it down. Uh, I just duplicated it a bunch. So if you if you hear this um, just kind of by itself, you could just hear you know all those. But one thing that I do use pretty frequently is this long tail reverb. Uh, if you kind of add this to to anything that you want, just kind of smeared, like a uh, you know just a reverb that will um, kind of bring everything together to sound like a pad. Check this out. It's kind of sounds pretty good there. So I did that in a couple spots throughout the track. I did a, a whole actual pad down on the bottom as well. I let all the vocals play. And what I did was I just added a delay to it and I just kind of messed around with his parameters drastically uh, and just came up with these these wild sounds. And I just messed with this, you know, just all over the place trying to just something funny creative. Just as fills, you know, like so I use that technique a lot. Uh, also, just a lot of random chops throughout the entire track using um, a lot of reverbs, a lot of reverse techniques. Uh, granulator was a lot of fun to use. I ended up coming up with some really wild sounds like this. An area, and then the LP. 
that granulated sound for this riser. We add that with this for that drop. Once again, that uh, long tail reverb. These sounds together. Yeah, I just distorted that. And as far as the chords, I just, uh, you know, I, I, I made up my own chord progression. Some plugins like Profit with some um, you know, stuff for the highs and lows. Just uh, you know, purposefully had that kickstart I used for the uh, that side chain effect, pump effect, that pump effect. And then um, I wanted these keys to be pretty important. This is uh, just this is really just the, the chords um, that I chose, just uh, with an ARP and a really really good sound, you know. And uh, ended up coming up with. Yeah, this kind of metallic-y metallic track here and then as it builds you know, a lot of automation throughout throughout this like, you know, different parameters sort of that so it builds it's motion there you know along with so yeah so I use this this micro freak. All, what I like to do with this guy is I just kind of change the um, change the presets, mess with all these different different knobs. You know, there's a whole bunch of fun things you can do with this. And you, I just have a jam session. I play along with the track. Once that's all recorded, I just kind of uh, hodgepodge, take pieces that I like, and then uh, add effects and just you know um, do some pitch bends and all kinds of random stuff for that. Bass line was made with uh, my trusty little bass station here. I love this guy. So a lot of the random sounds that I was able to make with the micro freak over here. I just kind of recorded a whole bunch and then took out little pieces that I liked. I do that pretty frequently just to for fills. Uh, so for instance, this is what kind of the glitchy random stuff that I was able to come up with. And ended up coming up with this fun little uh, fun little sound that I think complemented the vocal pretty well. So, so yeah, my bass station just made my little uh, Then I had some automation with that. Using the actual, um, actual synth itself. As far as the drums, you know, I got my, um, my favorite kicks. Uh, all of the, the samples, I, um, you know, I, I, I could take random, random stuff from either packs or splice or whatever, but I do change them, uh, to fit the actual rhythm of the song. So for instance, these drums are relatively simple, but together they, they create just a good groove to it. That along with this bass line just gives it a really good groove. But yeah, overall, man, this has been a lot of fun. So I appreciate you thinking about about the class and uh and i'm glad that i was able to to reach out and that i had the time to do this because this was a lot of fun man and i'm excited to hear everybody else's work okay so bro detected quick glitch on this oh that kick house vibe yeah house palace i don't know my visa okay I love that Tom man. What a lovely sound design, damn bro. Nice. Pure pure there. Nice. Break. I love the bass man. He's when you dive here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go to the 
Things going around. Things coming. I love what you've done to that sample, man. It's amazing. Build up, something's coming. Something's coming. So huge, man. Thank you so much, DJ True, for blessing us with this wonderful track. I can see this being played at clubs. DJ True, you are the man, bro. You are the man. Hey, it's Kalyam. I'm a music producer from Bangalore, India, and I'm very thrilled to be a part of this series. So first, when Anish sent me the sample, I was stuck at first, like. What do I flip this into? Uh, I just went ahead and made a DMB track with it. Let's just dive into my project now. So when I first started to work on this sample, I just wrote the chords for it. Came up with the bass line, came up with the lead. Then uh, programmed the drums like a 3 DNB kind of dr uh, drum beat that you listen in almost all the... So this is how they sound. This is the first one of my. All you see here is like very GP intensive, but yeah, I bounce them just for you to. I wanted to paint a visual image of kind of like entering a room. I added a uh, lo-fi keys for the uh, intro layered with a Reese uh, bass, which sounds like. And after that. I let the vocal sample introduce itself like as if the singer was hopping on the beat then I just added a lo-fi drum beat loop to give some moment in the track then I let it introduce this um, A to it that I've added now uh, when, when this is being played I let it uh, introduce an electronic guitar patch from Nexus Then I added the bass, like the drop elements in the build up along with this build up drums. Also, I just used the vocal sample as a vocal in this track itself. Lo fi, DNB, and melodic rhythm in one song for on this sample play. So, yeah, here's my track. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> So soothing, man. Nice. Oh, well, that's beautiful. Bawal da intro na da ami la. Very atmospheric. I love it. Send simple stuff. It's so many different. Your thing da. Do the house. 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 Do
appeal to my sentiments. So much silly. Why collect all my life? Can't get it. Collect all my life. Can't get it. Say it. I like that vibe. That's nice. Oh, guitar, guitar. Oh, yeah. That sounds really good. All right, build up. Build up. Riser. <laughs> okay, I like that. That's real nice. Who's are they drop at? Wow. I love that sub. Sounds so good. No, I love that voice. Ah. Great vibe, man. I'm digging this. I like the drum and bass. The tempo sounds great with it. Yeah. Nice. Great job, man. That was that was beautiful. Damn, Calium, that was intense, bro. <laughs> Amazing. Wait, damn it, the vocal chop on it, damn it, I'm like you track se ekdomai ekdomai different thi aur jo tha suni kano mile na mail start thi ani mailo khale mai ali kati change hune kuchh tar mailo nee bhanga change mo ram ekdom ekdomai different thi aur track bhanga se ekdom different thi. So to start off, uh, I wanted to create an ambience, you know. Uh, so I took the vocal sample and reversed it, you know, just to experiment and it sounded really good. And after that, I wanted to create kick, snare and hi-hat from the vocal sample itself. So to do that, I created MIDI instrument file where I inserted quick sampler and I optimized the vocal sample in, inside the sampler. So uh, for example, to make a kick, I took a very thin chop from the vocal sample itself, uh, which is like uh, 0.057 seconds. And then I EQ'd, I threw some overdrive in it and used a glue compressor and I got this. And it was the same thing for the snare and hi-hat as well. It took the vocal sample, thin chopped vocals, and EQ'd it, uh, which sounded like this. So for the build-up, what I did was uh, inserted the vocal sample into the multi-sampler where I could, uh, you know, chop the vocals as I needed. So yeah, and I processed it uh, with the vocal bender, saturator, chorus, uh, room reverb, and I got this. <laughs> And for the riser, I took the small amount of sample and flexed it, you know. And after that, I automated the pitch uh, through some saturation and chorus, uh, which sounded like this. I also programmed uh, piano, reed bass, strings, transition, impact synths and some guitars in it and everything was uh, side-chained to the kick in the drop so yeah that was pretty much it to what i did with the sample uh -huh. pianos oh. 
This is so atmospheric. I love that atmospheric, that vocal back there. Oh, all that reverb, that sounds so good. Nice vocal thing, I think. Yes. That's deep. Now that I know what these vocals mean, like this is. Wow. Okay. Okay, wow. Man, you captured the mood, like. Yeah. These lyrics are deep. Crystal feels. Love those drums. Drop, drop type skate arms was for like that's more like oh. Uh, More drums for the build up song. That was like go on. Something's coming. Strings in there. Saw you, I saw you. Wow, that very good there. Aha. This is too good, man. At the second part, especially. Just honestly, after no nature on Saturday, music colleagues, I'm really busy on Anyways, thank you. Great job, man. Yeah, the vibe from that, like, yeah, those lyrics are uh, are intense, man. And um, I think you you captured that mood. Like, wow, that was great. Jeez, guys, everyone, I'm I'm just blown away. That was amazing. It's so cool to hear, you know how i interpreted that into how everybody else did all completely different all beautiful all phenomenal you guys are all great producers this was awesome wow i'd like to thank my friends who accepted to work on this project shout out to esther reason dj true and kalium for making this possible and we know without the sample this was not possible so big thank you to my friend srije please guys do check everyone's channel in the description box below and show some support by subscribing and checking out their videos so this was episode one of four producers one sample personally che, i really enjoyed working with the team uh, i feel in the music industry it's uh, so important you know to collaborate and work together for best results uh, so stay tuned for more exciting uh, episodes ahead guys uh, we'll have more producers and samples uh, if you want to collaborate with me please uh, dm uh, on my instagram uh, so i'd like to say thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next video cheers